Welcome back to The Process Diary, where we explore the world of invention and manufacturing. In this episode of Process Diary, we would talk about electrical transformers. These unassuming canisters are everywhere, yet often taken for granted. Their job is to transform the high voltage from electrical power lines to the lower voltage that's suitable for home use. Without them, raw electrical power would be virtually useless to the average person. Transformers are a critical part of modern life, but have you ever wondered what's inside those canisters? In this video, we delve into the inner workings of transformers, uncovering the science and technology that makes them tick. Join us as we journey through the fascinating world of electric transformers, exploring the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. So, if you're curious about the role of transformers in our daily lives, hit that like button, subscribe and leave your comments below as you watch.
Now using electrical steel, workers build the transformer's other main component, called the core. The coil and core are tightly secured together with metal strapping, which will help to fix the assembly in the tank. Then it's into an oven where they bake for 8 hours at 275 degrees. The heat improves insulation by removing any traces of humidity. It also melts the epoxy glue, fusing together the paper, the aluminum strip, and the copper wires. The assembly now goes into a steel tank. A rubber gasket is hammered around the perimeter, and a grounding wire is bolted on. Then three thermoplastic bushings are inserted. Workers connect the low-voltage lead to the thermoplastic bushings, then bolt the bushings to the tank. They adhere an oil filling guide to the side of the tank, then position an automated filling machine. A machine fills the tank with mineral oil, drawing a vacuum to make sure the oil disperses throughout the coil. The oil is used for its thermal and insulating properties. An internal fault detector will alert maintenance crews if there's a short circuit. A worker runs a lead wire through the thermoplastic bushing and secures it in place. Next comes the high voltage connector. Lastly, the tank cover is bolted shut. Finally, the transformer is complete and ready to bring electrical power to the masses. This incredible process requires skill, precision, and an unwavering dedication to quality. And with each transformer built, workers know they are contributing to the growth and innovation of our modern world. So, the next time you see a transformer on a pole or in a substation, take a moment to appreciate the beauty and complexity of this vital component of our electric power infrastructure. If you enjoyed this video on the process of making electrical transformers, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching.